So you may have seen those advertisements on television for things like Lumosity, which give you brain games you can play that'll make you smarter. Well, according to a recent ruling and recent studies, that's just not necessarily true. So according to this uh, recent uh, study, they put two different flyers up and they wanted to see, uh, one said there's brain training and cognitive enhancement available. The other one just said, do you want to participate in a study? Now, why are these two things different? Well, they hypothesized that you only get smarter from things if you think you're going to be smarter for things. So they hypothesized and proved, essentially, that if you were told you're going to take this IQ test and then we're going to give you an hour of brain training and it'll make you smarter, that would select people who think they can get smarter from taking brain training and those people would do better on a test than folks who just showed up for a study. And here are the results. <laughs> According to these results, figure two, the estimated marginal means, blah, blah, blah. Let's look at it. The line that goes up, that's the placebo. Those are the people who were told they could get smarter. Their results on the, the solid line are people who were told they could get smarter and believe they could get smarter. Their IQ points went up by five to 10 points after taking a, a brain training test. And the people in the control group who weren't told it could make them yeah. smarter and didn't necessarily believe they could get smarter as a result of this thing because they're just signing up for a test, they didn't get smarter. Um, according to the George Mason study from the PNAS, or PNAS, uh, quote, it is extremely unlikely that individuals in the placebo group increase their IQ by five to 10 points with one hour of cognitive training. But this blows my mind. Why? That according to this study, people who think intelligence is malleable got smarter, and people who didn't think that didn't get any smarter. Well, I think what they what they talk about also in the study is they say it's also evidence of how important motivation can be for cognitive performance. So these people went in expecting a result um, at the end of it. And so when they're given that, that last test, you bet their ass they're going to be motivated. They don't want to be the outlier that the study didn't work for, that they didn't get this increased IQ. But this uh, article also points out that there's no reason why one hour of training should make any reasonable difference in someone's IQ. So for someone to think that, I already kind of am writing them off that you're a little bit silly to think that. One hour of training to raise your IQ, come on. But it worked. The people who thought they could get smarter from this got smarter. So well, they, you, they did better on the test. They didn't raise their IQ. They, well, the test proved that they increased their IQ. No. But they, they, they took a test afterwards and they had a higher IQ according to the test after an hour if they believed the test could make them smarter. This is breakthrough knowledge for me. They say okay. the people who, who studied it say that there's better things. There's things that are more um, reliable in affecting your intelligence and that the, the, the training itself did not do anything as proved by this. They can, can do additional double blind testing, but for an initial study, this is pretty impressive. Right, and it was just 25-25 on each right. side. So, so maybe there's small. an aberration or, you know, it's, it, it's outside of the norm, but... Um, here's things that are affect intelligence before we go. Genetics, they say. If you're smart, if you're born smart, you'll stay smart. Um, over time, everyone gets stupider, but mm -hmm. the people who are smarter at the beginning get stupider at the same rate and end up smarter. Um, your education, they said that every year that you do educate, you stay in school, you gain 3.7 IQ points. Mm -hmm. Nutrition and environment, not that your environment will make you smarter, but if you have like- It can make you dumber. It can get, make you dumber. If it's so bad. if you have lead poisoning, you lose a certain amount of points. Iodine deficiencies is like 10 points. Yeah, so chronically mal, like chronically bad nutrition. Yeah, and over time, they mm -hmm. say we get smarter. According to this study, every decade or increases the like base, I, the average IQ point, by uh, IQ by two to three points. Yeah, take that parents.